Well, Canada has become just the second country in the history of the world to fully legalize the sale of marijuana, as well as the recreational consumption. Much like young Americans, young Canadians increasingly can't afford to buy homes or start families or even have cars. More and more of them are stuck living at home with their parents, whom they will make less than as they get older. These are huge problems. No one's even thinking about how to fix them, but at least young people will be too high to notice. Maybe they won't complain. Is this idea coming to the United States? Of course it is. Mason Tavert is a spokesman for the Marijuana Policy Project. He joins us tonight. Mason, thanks a lot for coming on tonight. Does it? Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Does it bother you when big business and government align to make young people more passive and compliant? Well, it bothers me when government creates foolish laws that destroy the lives of countless young and older people alike for using a substance that's objectively less harmful than alcohol. And, you know, right. marijuana is out there. So rather than forcing it into the underground market, criminalizing people for using it, let's actually control it. Let's regulate it. Let's treat it more like alcohol and, and do what we can to minimize the potential harm around it. Right. I mean, well, we're not doing anything to minimize the harm around it, obviously. We're never going to do that. In fact, it's become more potent. And by the way, I would concede that in a lot of ways, alcohol is more threatening than marijuana, for sure, but it's also less deadening. And that's kind of the point about marijuana. Government isn't in the marijuana business because it wants to minimize harm, it wants to make money and tax revenue, but it also wants to keep young people passive and stupid and less likely to complain and revolt when the economy they've created doesn't serve young people. You don't see this? I think it's actually kind of uh, an absurd notion seeing as marijuana has long been associated with uh, younger people revolting. I mean, marijuana became popular in the 60s during the anti-war movement and hey, has Mason. long been considered Did, did you smoke a lot of weed, Mason? No, come on now, come on now. I grew up in California. I know what marijuana is. It does not make you more likely to do anything is the truth, as you know. I know firsthand, I and I know you do too. Stereotype. It's that's not like a stereotype, enjoys, it's reality. That's like saying everyone who enjoys a cocktail after work with their friends is a lush. It's just not true. Oh, no, 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 but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not arguing that. Use cannabis. It's not a big yes. deal. I mean, the last few presidents, uh, the last, you know, couple, we've had Supreme Court justices, we have countless business people. I mean, it, it's no, not you're, a you're problem. Totally missing it. You're, it. you're totally it's missing problem. it. I'm not, I'm not arguing that. I'm not arguing it is a problem for people to smoke marijuana occasionally. I don't think it is. I'm not a prohibitionist by temperament at all, and I'm not a neo-Puritan, unlike everyone on the left. I'm just saying, if you make it legal, many more young people will use it much more often. This we know. It's true of everything. That's, not, no, that, well, that's actually not what we're seeing. If you look at well, it's Colorado, what, it is Washington, what we're Oregon, Nevada, <laughs> every state that's made marijuana legal has not seen an increase in teen use. That's not true, actually. And spare me the fake it's numbers. A fact. Fact. Okay. It's actually not well, a fact. Talk to the state governments in each of those states. Okay. But let me just ask you, though. Overpopulations, it is true that marijuana, and this is a clinical matter that has been studied longitudinally a lot over decades makes people less likely to act. It makes them more passive. And I'm just saying, if you were running a system that was not serving young people, serving them so badly, a lot of them became socialists, wouldn't you want them passive and spacey and out of it? And wouldn't you also want to collect the tax revenue and continue your alliance with creepy big cannabis companies? I mean, that's kind of what's going oh, on, right? I, I honestly, I think it's bizarre that you want the government to use this as a way to criminalize a whole population of people and control the people. But that you is what they're illegal. doing. You want it to be a crime for adults to use a substance no. less harmful than one that's legal no, no, for no. you or me well, or anyone. Well, no, no, but what, what I'm saying is a marijuana already was effectively decriminalized in most places, not every place. And there are people who did jail no. terms for weed. No, yes. Hundreds of thousands uh, of Americans yeah, okay. are arrested every year for marijuana. No, that's, that's not. No, no. Yeah, no. No one in most places is arrested for a joint. Look, we had okay. a don't ask, don't Talk tell policy in a lot of places. Some I have. 100,000 Americans are arrested every year okay. for marijuana. They but you it. could, it's a but hold on. You could very easily, in effect, decriminalize it for small amounts without legalizing, which means every time I walk through Times Square, someone is hitting a vape or smoking a joint, which is what it is now. I'm saying it's a totally different thing, as you know. But big companies it's want to profit from Square. this. Don't you see what you're saying is that it's illegal in Times Square? The point I'm is that- I'm saying it's already been decriminalized. 
as you know, like in New York City, in, in Washington, D.C., it's legal and people smoke it on the street. People smoke more it's when there's less of a sanction. If you do, you're going to get cited just like you're, you're wrong. If you're, you're drinking totally a beer on the you street. Don't, I thought you do this for a living. That's not true. You don't get nothing Tucker, happens to you. I will give you, you a million dollars if you, if, if, if you can prove it's legal to use marijuana on no, the street. It's in not, no, but you're, not, you're missing my point. It's not enforced. As you know, de Blasio said to cops, I just talked to him about it. It's not enforced. So that's better than legalizing it. The only thing that will do is make this it more is the common. This the absurd thing I've ever heard. You're denying it's not facts. It's no, you're fact denying reality. Thousands and thousands of people are arrested in New York every year Look, for marijuana possession. It's just a fact. No, and, and you are doing, like, you think you're, it's a conspiracy what's, no, it's a conspiracy. Down America. Well, it's literally that, but it's also a conspiracy of people like you <laughs> to get rich from selling it. Let's be honest. This is big corporations so, trying to get rich from getting kids to smoke more weed, and I'm sure you've got a piece of it. Don't give me that personal freedom garbage. This is another so corporation do you think, do you think alcohol should be illegal? Do you think it should be illegal? Do you no, think, of course do you I'm think not saying it should be illegal. And Anheuser-Busch are, are, are evil corporations, and that they're they're just out there to destroy yeah, the world. Yeah, I think that people who put, no, not to destroy you, the world, but I think, think people that. who push you think that you think that alcohol should, should be illegal. No, I'm not saying it should be illegal. I'm saying it should not be there to provide a product. I'm not flacking. Right, yeah. A product is just a product. No, it, like, destroys people. I've seen it. Anyway, we're out of time. I wish we could keep going. Um, Because you know what I'm saying. It's true. Good to see you.